everybody, happy Thursday. Now before I hop into today's question, I have a couple of exciting updates. Number one, there will be a You Now live stream this Friday, but the time is TBD. If I know it before this goes live, I'll put it here in the description or I'll put it across the bottom of this video, but there's a poll going on Twitter if you wanna hop over and let me know. I gave you two time slots to kind of choose from that work with my schedule and hopefully they work with yours, but it'll be this Friday. And remember, I'm on Pacific Standard Time. And the second update is super exciting. We reached our first goal on my Patreon account. And what that means is that I'm gonna bring more professionals on to the channel. And so I've opened up a new, and I'm looking over here because I have my laptop with my notes, but I've opened up a new uh, level of payment, like in the system on the side, you'll see that you can give a dollar, you can get $5. And at the $10 mark, I've opened it up for a poll so that you can tell me what professionals you want on. And I know a lot of you also want to interact more with what videos that you see. And so I've opened up another level, hop on over to my Patreon account. You can click the link in the description to check it out. But I put that out there so that I can get more information from you and give you the videos and the professionals that you're interested in. So check it out. Now into today's question. So the question is, and I got this from my website, katiemorton.com. If you haven't hopped over there, hop on over. But the question is, hey Katie, I wanna show my therapist my self-harm cuts. She always asks if I've been cutting it and if it's bad. I don't know what she thinks of as bad. I also really just wanna show her my cut so she can answer the question for herself. Also, because I wanna have someone else see how much I'm hurting. Family slash friends don't know about the cutting, but I don't want her to think that I'm trying to show her just for attention or something, so how do I bring it up? Now, I wanna talk about this because first of all, I've gotten maybe five questions that are very, very similar to this, and I may have talked about it in other videos, but it's always good to revisit topics that are of importance to you and things that I see a lot. Now the first is that self-injury is a coping skill. Like many other things, like people who drink to cope or eating disorder behaviors that help us cope with hard situations, many of us um, exercise to cope, there can be a lot of healthy slash unhealthy coping skills we use in our life, self-injury being one of those. And so from this, I just want to get that out there first so that we understand kind of where this person's coming from. So she's really struggling and clearly by her question, we can tell that she utilizes self-injury as a way to express how she's doing, how much she's hurting. And that's something I've talked about in an older video of mine of like, why do we self injure? And in her case, it sounds like it's more of an expression to be like, yeah, things are shitty and I'm really, really hurting. So I want to show you my hurt. This is what I'm doing. And so into the question itself and answering it, how do I bring it up to my therapist? Now, first of all, as a therapist, I don't ask to see self injury cuts unless I worry based on conversations I've had with my clients that they're infected, that they're not getting the right treatment, and that they may need to go to the hospital and get stitches, stuff like that. So I may ask only for that purpose, but I, I've i only had to do that once. So it's very, very rare that I actually ask to see self-injury cuts or scars because I find from my clients telling me and from you guys telling me, it can feel very invasive, make us feel really vulnerable. Some of my clients say that they're really embarrassed when people ask about them, touch them, anything like that it can be really triggering and really difficult. And so I try to respect their privacy that way. But if we're on the flip side where we really want someone to see them, I would say it just the way you said it to me. I know I say this all the time, but often you will all ask questions and I think that's exactly how I'd want my client to ask me just to be straight with me. It's fine to just ask, like to say it directly and to ask the question directly. There's no wrong way to say something in therapy. Just throwing that out there. The more information that we're sharing with our therapist, the better. And so if we went into session, we just said, you know, I've really been hurting and you always ask me if my self injuries, like if my cuts are really bad and I don't really know what you think of as bad, but I would like to show them to you because I want to make sure that you understand what I'm going through and we both know how bad they are. That's fine, that's enough. And also, I just wanna say that I think it's important to at least address the fact that if we have someone in our lives who uses self-injury as a way to cope, that we understand that they're, them wanting to show it to us does not make it an intention-seeking behavior. Instead, it's their way of expressing their hurt and their feelings and what they're struggling with. In a lot of ways, I think it's a way um, that people scream or reach out for help. And if you find someone in your life is showing you or wanting to talk about their self-injury, please, 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 I can't tell you enough, please tell them to reach out for help, maybe offer to go with them to the first appointment or help them fill out the paperwork or any of that stuff. Just 
be a resource to them instead of seeing it as attention seeking behavior. Because often when we reach out for help, yes, we're wanting attention from you, but it's because we know that we really need help and we're really struggling. And by showing you and expressing it is our only way to demonstrate how much we're hurting. And so I just thought it was really important to talk about that as well because I know a lot of people worry about reaching out for help because they are afraid people are gonna think that they're seeking attention when in fact we're actually seeking help. And those are two totally different things. If any of you have talked to your therapist and shown them your scars or your cuts, can you let us know how you did that and how it came about and if it felt okay for you? Um, because that's my only concern and something that I can learn from all of you is if as a therapist, if we are worried, how do we ask what's the best way to ask? And if we're a client and we really want to show them, what are some other options if the person who asked this question doesn't like my answer? Because I know that it's hard and uncomfortable, but sometimes just doing it, like just doing it quick and being direct is the best way. And it also, you know, will limit the amount of things that we're gonna say that maybe take away from what we're really trying to get at. Like sometimes my clients will ask me questions and there's such I can tell that there's a lot of anxiety around them and they'll say it in such a way where I'm like, wait, so, so what? I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. Can you start again? And they get frustrated, but it's because there's, it's better sometimes just to be direct. So you might just tell your therapist, I've been really hurting. I want to show these to you because I want to make sure that you know what's going on. That's fair enough. I doubt she's going to say no. I don't think that it's going to be anything as big as we're making it out to be, but at least then she understands what you're going through and can know how bad you're hurting. I love you all. I hope you found this video helpful. Please share it if you think it could help somebody else. Please give it a thumbs up for the same reasons. And if you haven't subscribed, click here to subscribe. And if you're wondering what my Patreon account is, I'll put the link below. Is there anything else I should tell you about? I will see you all tomorrow on the live stream. And the time is TBD. Check out my Twitter account because there's a poll going where you're all talking about it. It's either 10.30 in the morning or 10 in the morning or 1.30 p.m. Vote and let me know and then I will see you then. Bye! Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Now before I jump into today's question, today, 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 junior.